my name is Jack and I'm the product owner for the new job ticketing feature uh, that we recently released as uh, version 18.0 of Papercut MF. So today I'm just going to do a quick run through of um, how this feature works, how it integrates into your everyday print system uh, by trying to print a couple of uh, different documents to my uh, local printer and discovering some new functionality that my administrators recently added. Okay, so I've got two documents that I need to have printed today. Uh, the first one is um, just a document uh, telling me more about why I need to use Papercut MF. Uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and send this over to a printer that I've got set up. So uh, this is the printer. I've called it Null Printer just for the demonstration. And I'm going to hit Print. We can see that going through uh, to the printer. and Yep, it was set up at 20 cents, so that $100 balance has now moved down uh, by 20 cents. So that has worked exactly the same way that I would have expected it to work. Now, the new functionality that's come up is, um, so I'm a product owner, I'm uh, into product stuff, and I got this great new free ebook um, that I wanted to print and, and do some reading on tonight. And, um, you know, this is work related, so of course I'm going to uh, try and print it on my, uh, my work um, uh, printer. And I'm just going to take a chance and hope no one sees me doing this. So I'm just going to do this really quickly. Hit print. All right, we're all good. We'll go and release this soon. But what's going to happen now? Something's happened. Uh, my job's been cancelled. So what has happened is my administrator set up a new print policy alert. Uh, that tells me about a new system that I need to be going to. So, um, yeah, oh, it's above this maximum number of pages. Uh, that can't be going to the Find Me queue anymore. So uh, I'll need to submit this uh, using this link. So let me just go in and, all right, this is new. All right, I'm going to have to go and explore this interface a little bit. Okay, so uh, I've been sent to this new page and uh, it seems to be something called Print Services. I'm in a university building at the moment, so uh, this is where it is. Where is this place? Um, okay, room 112. And, oh, it's in, in the administration building. I had no idea we had any service like this. Um, you can see some announcements over here, right? They're doing some things over the long weekend. That's fine. Um, but what I'm really interested in is to see what uh, what I can do over here. So the, the document I was trying to print, yeah, that's a document. So let's see what's, what do I have? Um, so it allows me different paper sizes. It allows me to have different stapling and hole punching options. Let's see what else is here. So this is a booklet. Um, yeah, this one comes with some comb binding options as well. So this is, yeah, it'll actually be much nicer to have this uh, done with some comb binding. So let's, let me click on this and go and explore it a bit more. So I need to do my new ebook and I just need a single copy. That's perfectly fine paper okay yeah so i can pick what i need here that's that's good yeah let's do a double sided i can do this in grayscale i don't need the color pictures on this one and then for binding yeah i'll do comb binding it's going to be on the long edge and yeah i prefer black and oh i can do covers too this is much nicer than i would have had on the uh, on the MFD, this is actually something I'll be able to keep. So I'm just going to take the clear asset say Gives me a few images to have a look at, so that's nice. Okay, I've only got my personal account to charge to, so that's the one. And, oh, I can do different options. Yeah, internal mail should get it to me pretty easily. So I'm uh, in the product area uh, building A. Um, they'll find me over there. That's good enough. And um, due date. Yeah, it'll be really nice if I can have this by Friday. So let me pick that. I don't need a proof. That actually covers everything. I don't even need to include any uh, additional instructions. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and upload that file. And there's my ebook. And there it is. Get a bit of a preview. Feeling pretty good about this. Let's hit submit. And my order's been submitted, so that's really good. 
Now, uh, I'm just going to keep on doing some other things. So, uh, yeah, let's check my email. Oh, this is cool. Um, I'm getting a bit of a confirmation, and I can see that my uh, order for the booklet has now been submitted. If I click on that, I can actually go and see the details again, and I could actually, oh, I can send some more comments as well. So, yeah, pretty happy with how this went. Um, let's Let's see what happens next. All right, so now I'm going to be someone else. Uh, I'm no longer Jack. Now I am uh, a guy called Mr. Operator, and he's the, the person that works at the print room, and uh, he's just arrived uh, for his day's work to go and see what, what remains to be done. So let's just log into this interface and see what's, what's waiting for us. Okay, so now we get to an entirely different side of the project. Uh, of, of this product and it's no longer um, the, that customer interface but instead it's turned into something that manages the workflow within that print room. Um, so those jobs have been submitted and the intent for this operator is to basically get all of these jobs on the side moved over all the way over to this completed column. So by the time it's over there, the job's done and we can start focusing on some new products uh, and some new orders that have come in. So the latest one that came in is a, an ebook that was uh, ordered by this guy called Jack. So there we go. We'll have a look. Um, we'll say, right, um, yeah, everything's ordered here. I can see all the different details. Uh, yeah, this is what was selected, comb binding, and we've got the front cover and due date of the 9th. Okay, so at this point, um, I could add something like an internal note for myself and just say, um, uh, check stock of cover. So this is a note that you could just post internally. So whether this is a phone call that came in after the fact, just to keep that information uh, together, or whether it's a note to yourself or, or one of the operators that might pick it up later, it's just a way to keep all that information together. So what I do want to send back to this customer is I'm going to say, um, hey, Jack, um, I'm out of clear covers. Um, can do frosted by Friday, else um, clear is back for Monday. All right, so this gives them a choice. Uh, I can do either this or that. There's your option. Um, and I'm going to just post that note. So what I'm doing now is just moving this over to a next status. So I can either do that over here. Or I can have that done back in the workflow by just dragging and dropping it. So this is a column that I've created in the workflow um, just to say I'm still waiting to clarify something from this particular user. So I'll be carrying on with some other jobs uh, while I'm waiting for that response and I'll be checking in back with that job later during my day. Okay, so um, now I'm, I'm back as myself again. I'm, I'm again, Jacques, trying to order uh, my, uh, my print job. So um, I was carrying on with my day. Um, I'm in my email, and I can see this email come through. So what does this say? There's a new comment. So this guy, Mr. Operator, has posted here. Oh, he's, he's out of clear covers. He can do frosted by Friday, else uh, clear is back for Monday. Okay, well, let's hit reply. What happens? Oh, this is nice. It sends me straight to the comments box and I can just type a, a reply here and just say, um, you know, I'm, this isn't that. No, you know what? I do want to read this over the weekend. Let's let's have a changes. Um, uh, frosted for Friday will be good. Thanks. With the usual amount of typos. And I'm just going to hit post over there. So that clears it all up. I can close this again and I can keep uh, going on with everything that I've been working on. So Mr. Operator is back again in his workflow um, and uh, he's got some work to do. So he wants to check in and see what's been happening on this job. So going down, he says, all right, uh, frosted uh, for Friday will be good. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. So now we know what to do. And we can actually send this over to the next status, which is ready to print. 
And at this point, uh, we're going to need to have a pricing ready. So we're, we know how many pages it is. We've done that calculation. We know what the, the cost is. Now, you could have different policies set up uh, where you are, uh, and that could either be you know, you're going to get back to this uh, person uh, and, and check on the quote. Or it could be like in this case, you know, this is this is going to just charge to a company account. So we're just going to go ahead and do the job. This person's clearly authorized to do it. So I'm going to say, right, binding everything inclusive. This is going to be a $20 job. Um, and I'm going to charge that. So we've charged the job it's in ready to print the next step is i want to start doing my print so um, i'm going to start by printing a job ticket for it so this gives me a single page uh, where i can see everything that's been configured by the users and this will act like a cover page that will uh, find uh, that will be at the device when i arrive there so i've got my production printer set up I'm going to send this right through to it. So that's the first page um, that will keep the job together. So second step is to download the file itself. That's the file that was submitted. And it opens it up. So this I would want to send to the printer. Uh, this is a production printer, so I'm going to actually use the system dialog so I can get access to all of those settings on my production printer. And here I can really start customizing it the way that you would on a production device. I'd be using all the settings that came in. So in this case, we can have a quick look through here. Uh, color matching I'm not doing. Paper handling, everything's under control. Uh, what I am going to look at is the paper features and just make sure that uh, this is set up for right and left binding the way this was instructed. I'm not doing stapling, but if this was a staple device, I'd, uh, a staple document, I'd be selecting this at this point. And I'm only doing a single print, so I'd go ahead and uh, send that off to the printer. So what I've done now is I've actually sent everything uh, through uh, to the printer. Everything will be waiting for me, cover page at the top, document at the bottom, all kept together. I could go and release more jobs at the same time and just go and pick them all up at once. All right, so Chuck here again, and uh, now I'm back as myself and checking into my emails, and I've seen two things happen at the moment. Uh, the first one is that I can see that $20 has been subtracted from my paper cut account, so this is interesting. I'm gonna just click on details and see what's, what's happened there. So let me just log in quickly. Let me just log in and see what, uh, what's happened here recently. Okay, so I can see there's been a $20 charge that happened. I can look at my transaction history. And I can see that the print room has uh, just charged me $20. So I also saw an email coming through earlier. So if I go and have a look at it, like, hi there, we've started processing your print services order of booklets. So um, that's interesting. Let me click on view order again and see what's changed. Ah, it's already in ready to print status. So that's nice. They've, they've actually done all the work. They've accepted my feedback. Um, the charge has been done. This is the person that charged me and when it happened. Okay, this is good. I'll uh, look forward to seeing the next steps. So back at the print room again, uh, Mr. Operator has now picked up the job from the printer. Uh, everything's ready. Uh, we are ready to go. And this ebook, I can move over to complete it. I'm uh, handing this over to the internal mail department to go and uh, deliver the job. So I'm all done. Uh, job's finished. And I'm going to start looking at some new orders next. Uh, but uh, for this ebook, um, I consider the job to be completed. Okay, so now I'm myself, Jack, again. I'm back in my emails, I'm checking in what happened, and I can see that this job has now been completed. 
So um, I've asked for them to deliver this uh, in uh, the internal mailing system and um, yeah, uh, asked for it by Friday and I'm pretty confident I'll, I'll be getting it on time. So yeah, this is great. It's uh, cost me a lot less than it would have on the MFD and uh, I got the added benefits of having this thing uh, properly bound and, and some cover pages. So it's not just going to be a loose of stack of papers on my desk. It's actually going to be something I can reuse again. So yeah, pretty happy with uh, how that turned out. Thank you.